two and zero, oh, and I fight at one thirty five in the class. Here you go, little Pancho. That's hot. Awesome. He's won almost every title that you can win in an amateur level. Gabe was AKA grown from the first martial arts program here. Hey, come here. You know, Gabe has got uh, an amateur fight coming up and, and it's gonna be his last amateur fight if, if he wins. Okay, then we're gonna turn him pro. We need someone to help me out with him. Uh, you're the perfect guy, so you do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna train with him and yeah. see some stuff out. Okay. This is his last amateur fight, and if he's successful, we're turning him pro. So for this fight, this this is really important. For Gabe, it's a huge rise in his career. This is what he's looking forward to. It's to fight in professional fights, to one day be a big star fighting in the UFC. Kane wants to be a coach at one point. There's no better way for him to get a taste of the fulfillment of, of leading someone and helping somebody than him helping Gabe because they're great friends. Why do you got some gloves? Why are you some knee pads? What are you talking about? That's a shin guard. Look at those uh, shin guards. Uh, dude, look at all the pads in it. Get the hell out of here. No, huh? I've been his friend before he became the big star that he is today. He's uh, easy going. You guys just kind of mesh together. And I think me and him did that. All right, Gabe, let's go. Gabe works full time at an auto body shop and he trains, you know, when he can, you know, either at nights or he takes some long lunches on a few days. And that's part of the sacrifices that you have to make at this level. It just, you know, shows his dedication. You know, he works all day and then he trains at night. Okay, go. It's a short fight, Gabe. You gotta press. You gotta let it go. One of the biggest uh, avenues for me to gauge when a fighter from amateur to pro is ready to go is I haven't sparred with the best fighters in the world. And the side. Don't stay there. You gotta circle. Nice, Gabe. If he does well with those guys, that's a big sign for me that he's ready to go to the next level. Let's go, Gabe. Get the momentum going. Nice. He is 30 years of age, although, and fight-wise, he's not that old, but age-wise, he is. Get some, Gabe. Get out of there. Get some. I'm not as young, and the window opportunity is a lot smaller for me. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here is when you were getting okay. shots put on you. He's able to score and takedowns. Okay. He has all the experience right now as far as you know, kickboxing, but him getting all the experience in the MMA is what he needs. You're, you're not thinking MMA as much as you are thinking kickboxing. Yes. You can't do that. Yes, sir. There's a lot of points where I feel overwhelmed. Your mind goes from kickboxing and you get taken to the ground. I can see you lapse. You kind of go, oh, crap. That, I can't have that. Gabe Carrasco's strength is his striking. Striking is his biggest asset. You know, he doesn't have as much MMA experience. I just feel pressured to apply my game at its maximum.